name's Liz, I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me sharing some ideas for the sewing challenge that's running throughout the month of November, which is um, a gift to November. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the challenge and then I have got seven free patterns that I wanted to share with you that you could sew up as gifts for somebody in your family or it might be friends or work colleagues or whoever. So I've got a range of ideas um, and they are all free patterns. So before I dive into the challenge and let you know a little bit more about it and share the patterns and let you know what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a relatively old make. Um, I'm really excited that we're in autumn winter because it means I can dig out all of my dungarees and boiler suits. Um, and this is a pattern by Our Lady of Leisure and it's called the Gimlet Boiler Suit. I made this a good couple of years ago and I get it out every autumn winter and I really love wearing it. It's in this gorgeous fine sort of needle cord fabric that's got kind of a Liberty vibe about it. I got this from a D-stash so I, um, I can't sort of share a fabric shop with you because uh, I got it from a D-stash. I've got blue buttons. So this boiler suit has got a collar and it's got buttons down the bodice and then there is a belt that you can sew. So I've just got that tied. It's got really deep pockets. It is quite roomy, so I feel like you do need sort of the ties or the belt. It's just stitched on the back. You can see that there's quite a lot of room in this boiler suit. Um, and then if I stand up, you can see what the trousers look like. I will put pictures in of me wearing this. And then the sleeves go beyond the elbow. So there's the elbow. They go just beyond the elbow, which is a really nice length for the boiler suit. It is a really warm garment to wear. So I love wearing it to work in the autumn, winter because it keeps me nice and warm. And I've also popped on quite often, like just a long sleeve top underneath as an extra layer. Or I can just pop on a cardigan or a coatigan to keep me nice and warm. So that's what I'm wearing. The challenge is called, there's a hashtag, which is a gift to November. And it's being run by So Like Dotty and Adam underscore Sews. I'll link their channels down below and their YouTube channels, their Instagram, um, where you can find out a little bit more about the challenge. But if you do search um, using the hashtag a gift to November on YouTube, there are lots of different vloggers that have shared ideas for gifts. Um, throughout the month of November already and there's going to be lots more vloggers that are sharing gift ideas throughout November as well. Um, there are prizes. The idea is that we sew up a gift so it can be crafty make, embroidery or dressmaking throughout the month of November and then on the 30th of November if you tag so like Dotty and Adam underscore sews and use the hashtag a gift to November then you can share your final reveal of your gift that you are sewing up. Um, at the end of November and then there are prizes. So today I have got seven different um, gift ideas for you um, and I've tried really hard to make sure that it's a range of gifts but also that they are all free patterns. So let's dive into the seven patterns that I've chosen to share with you today for gift ideas. So I'm going to start with number one and the first gift idea that I've got is a lanyard gift. So this is there's lots of different places where you can get this pattern from, but I have found a really straightforward tutorial on the Craft Cotton blog, and it's for a very simple fabric lanyard. Um, I'm a teacher, my husband's a teacher, so this is a gift that I think would be perfect for lots of our colleagues. Um, I think that they would find it really useful. I think it'd be nice to have a different sort of style of lanyard with different fabrics, um, and I just think it would come in really handy. Um, I think also for my own children to clip their keys onto and things, I think it'd be a really nice make. So um, the lanyard, you just need some cotton fabric. It doesn't take a huge amount. You can use a fat quarter to sew up the lanyard. The tutorial is really straightforward to follow. And then the only other thing that you need to buy is the um, sort of lanyard swivel sort of snap clasp that goes on the end. I have found them on eBay or Etsy or Amazon, relatively cheap for a bag of sort of 20 or 30. Um, I think it was like something like five pounds for a bag of 30 that I've bought. Um, so in terms of the cost of this gift, um, it wouldn't cost a huge amount. And actually in terms of the time it takes to sew up a lanyard, it's also a really speedy sew as well. So I wanted to include um, some patterns and some gift ideas that actually don't take a huge amount of time to sew up. And this one is definitely a speedy one. So that's the first gift idea that I've got, a lanyard by the Craft Cotton blog. 
The next pattern that I wanted to share with you or the next gift idea was an eye mask and I'm definitely going to sew up a couple of these for Ruby and Lola to go in their stockings. So the next pattern is a free pattern over on the Tilly and the Buttons website and it's the Fifi eye mask pattern. Um, you need some cotton fabric, you also need some wadding and you also need some elastic but you don't need a huge amount of any of those fabrics. I think it's less than half a metre to sew up the eye mask. And it's a really lovely eye mask that obviously goes over the eyes. You could sew up it in sort of a silky fabric so it's nice and soft against your face. And then it's got a sort of strap that goes around the back and then there's elastic in it and that makes it stay on your head. Um, I've seen some really cute ones where people have done embroidery on the front. Really cute um, sort of looking gift. And I think this looks quite straightforward to sew up as well. It doesn't look like it would take too long. Um, and you could really personalize the gift as well. So the next gift idea was an eye mask and I'm definitely gonna sew up a couple of these. Then the next gift idea I've got is something that I definitely need to sew up for myself. So I might be making this and gifting it to myself at Christmas because my oven gloves are looking a little bit worse for wear. Um, it is a pattern by um, Tamlin who is sewn on the tine because she writes for the Sew Hayley Jane magazines that go in the boxes each month. And over on the Sew Hayley Jane blog, there are tutorials from the magazine that you can follow. There's loads of gift ideas that have been included in the magazines over the months. Um, but I've chosen this one because I thought this would work for family, but it could also work for friends or work for colleagues as well. It looks like a really enjoyable make. Um, you don't need a huge amount for it. So um, on the sort of list of requirements, you need three fat quarters, some bias binding, and then you also need something called insole bright insulated lining. Um, and there's a little note on the blog to say that you can get that from First for Fabrics. Um, it looks like a really enjoyable sew. Um, I'm definitely going to sew some oven gloves for myself. And I thought maybe it might make a nice gift for my mother-in-law and also for my dad. Because my dad loves to do cooking as well. So that was the next gift idea. Um, there are loads of different gift ideas over on the Sew Helly Jane blog, not just the oven gloves. So I'll link it down below as well as linking the oven gloves tutorial as well. So the next idea that I've got is an apron and I've sewn up an apron in the past as a gift idea for people that I work with and I think it's a really lovely idea as a gift. Um, the pattern is the Sam apron by Helen's Closet and it's a free pattern. It comes in sizes 0 to 34 and it's drafted for a height of between 5 foot and over 6 foot, so a range of heights. In terms of fabric, they recommend medium to heavyweight woven fabrics. Some suggested fabrics are denim, linen, quilting cotton, canvas, and then they also recommend that you could do a waxed canvas fabric as well, which I think would work really nicely, especially if you're thinking of gifting this for somebody that's going to do some cooking wearing the apron. Um, its design is to be sort of an everyday apron um, for um, work, for crafts, for cooking, and it looks like a really enjoyable sew as well. So I thought I'd let you know about that one. So that's the Sam Apron by Helen's Closet. The next pattern, again, looks like a really enjoyable sew. It doesn't take up a huge amount of fabric and it is another free pattern and it's by the New Craft House. They've got a free pattern called the Tote Bag. Um, it takes less than a metre of fabric. So the size of the tote, it's big enough to fit a laptop in, but you can also put lots of other things inside the tote bag as well. So if you go over to, if you follow the link down below, then you'll be able to find the pattern um, and download it for free. And then the next tutorial um, is a little bit out there for a gift idea, but I thought that this would be a really nice gift to somebody if you've got someone in your life that you know loves a bag. Um, it's a free tutorial by Alice Irvine for a crisscross bag. It doesn't take a huge amount of fabric. It takes lots of little scraps of fabric. So on the blog, it says eight smallish pieces. There is a pattern template for you to download. Um, and then there's a really straightforward tutorial for you to follow as well. I've seen some really gorgeous crisscross bags popping up on Instagram. It's a really great scrap buster. So if you've got lots of different pieces of fabric that you want to piece together to make a really unusual and interesting crisscross bag. Um, I've seen some really gorgeous sort of patchwork type ones. Um, and again, it's a free tutorial. And I just thought this would make a really lovely gift for somebody. And then the final gift idea I've got is another free pattern by Tilly and the Buttons and it is a pattern for some slipper boots. 
Again, there are lots of different free tutorials for slippers, but I really like the idea of the slipper boots because they look really snuggly. In terms of fabric recommendations, they recommend medium to heavyweight fabric like sweatshirting, fleece, velour, um, or a woven fabric, and then a lining fabric. There's an option to include some anti-slip dotted fabric. And again, they I think there's a link on their website to some that they found over on Etsy. That's optional. So if you can't find the dotted anti-slip fabric, then you don't actually have to include that. But I really like the look of these. They're a slipper boot, so they look really cosy. And I've seen a version where it's got fur at the top of it and it just looks really cosy and really snuggly. And I think they would make a really lovely gift to somebody as well. So seven free patterns with lots of different gift ideas. I'm definitely gonna sew up a couple of them. I'm thinking of sewing up the eye mask for Ruby and Lola, um, oven gloves for myself. I'm definitely gonna sew up a couple of aprons and a few tote bags. Um, as my husband and I are both teachers, we've got lots and lots of people to make or buy presents for when it comes to Christmas, because we've got quite big teams that we work with. So I think some of these gift ideas could work for some of our work colleagues as well. Let me know in the comments if any of those gift ideas are things that you're thinking of sewing up for people or if you've tried any of those patterns. I haven't tried any of the patterns yet that I have named in today's vlog, but I'm definitely going to go and give them a little bit of a try. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into sewing some Christmas gift. All of the information are linked down below so you can find out a bit more information about it. Like I said, do search the hashtag a gift to November over on YouTube because all of the vloggers that have filmed videos so far will pop up. But I really hope you've enjoyed hearing some of the gift suggestions that I had for you today. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be really great if you could hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified of when I bring out my next video. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.